you very much. Okay. Right. Hello everyone. Panda here and welcome to what I used to call a non-vlog. I've got no idea what I'm gonna call it now. A uh, non-vlog I guess will do. Hope you're doing well. It's four o'clock in the morning and we're down here at the Brighton Marina. If anyone here is new to the channel, and there's definitely some new people nowadays, uh, I'd just like to say that this is one of those things that I do where I just sort of talk about uh, the real life a little bit and the channel and I just have an excuse, you know, I just make myself an excuse to be able to drive down in the middle of the night to go and get uh, McDonald's from the 24 hour McDonald's and the lady even brought me out my food uh, to my hands, to my car, which is service with a smile, didn't even have to wait at the window. Hope everything's going absolutely fantastically for you guys. Uh, it's been an interesting couple of months, I've got to say it's been a bit of a wild journey since I came back from my dad's house uh, in January just after Christmas. I was out there in the Caribbean um, over Christmas and had a really, really nice time and then just got back and just was feeling shitty about just everything. I was so mortified to be back in the UK, back, you know, in the freezing cold and uh, no longer, you know, able to just go off and drive to my dad's house and go and see him um, so yeah it was a bit it was a bit shitty for those few months and I didn't really do you know I didn't really put much time into the YouTube and I just slacked off a bunch and um, it's very foggy I'm sure you can see that and yeah yeah so we had a couple of shit months but you know what it's on the up and up now um, thank you very much to those of you that stuck around I can understand that there are people who didn't but you know whatever that's absolutely fine I just gonna have to deal with that but uh, yeah, things recently have been going pretty good, I've got to say. Uh, about a month ago now. Uh, it started a couple of months before that. I think even before Christmas. My friend Nalzi, who I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with, and my girlfriend both said to me, Oh, you've got ADHD, you know. All the things that you do, you know, you've got ADHD. And I laughed at them, I was like, that's funny guys, you know. Good joke, yeah, 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 I've got ADHD. And then, anyway, I went away over Christmas, and I came back. And one night I just couldn't sleep in bed and I sat there and I started looking up the symptoms and stuff and I was always aware that it was just a thing that you know kids had um, I had a brother my, one of my best friends brothers when I was at college he he had ADHD and he would be you'd just be sitting next to him and one minute he'd be sitting there watching TV and the next minute he would just turn around and he'd fucking bite you on the arm and it was crazy and when they were saying you've got ADHD I was saying look I'm not biting people's fucking arm in the middle of, you know, for no reason at all. Uh, so I completely dismissed it anyway. So I was sitting there and I was reading up about it and I was reading the symptoms and all of these stories and testimonials of people who have this occur in later life as an adult. And I started sitting there and going, holy fucking shit, like, all of this, all of this applies to me and massively explains a lot of the things that I've been feeling for a long time. Uh, I was an antidepressants for a long time and I thought that that was you know, the root of everything, that I was just depressed and, you know, I'd take antidepressants and it would work. They never really worked. I found that they never had the desired effect. They never really did anything that made me feel like they were helping. They just sort of numbed it down and made me feel like a zombie. Anyway, so fucking, I went to a doctor, went to a private uh, psychologist and got, talked to them about it and they said, yep, you know, you've got fucking ADHD, bro. Go take these pills and they should make what the fuck are you doing dude what are you doing that's not a legal maneuver um anyway they gave me some pills which i've been taking for the last month and honestly they have made the absolute world of difference i feel like i can think straight um i can actually get up and focus on a task and do it and i'm feeling pretty good you know i'm still feeling a bit shitty in general but a lot of things have helped and I feel like in this last month I've really put effort into YouTube and uh, you're an asshole dude you are an asshole and it's just really helped with a lot of things um I feel like I'm able to just make content and have fun with it and it's feeling a lot more like it used to feel um, a long 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 time ago anyway so you know it's been good and one thing that's been plaguing my channel for the longest time now and uh, you know, people notice it all the time and people point it out and it makes me feel bad, man. But uh, you know, my channel is in its 11th year now. I mean, last year we were like, hey guys, it's been 10 years. This is my 11th year now of making videos. And um, with old channels like my own, uh, there's a thing that happens where you've got subscribers over a certain amount of time and then 
just over time now, because so many people have subscribed in the past, years and years ago, people's accounts are being deactivated, people are also unsubscribing, but there's been, you know, a lot of stuff going on with YouTube. I'm sure you've seen the drama uh, where subs are channels are just losing subscribers. And uh, for a channel like my own, that is old as fuck and gotten the, the majority of my subscribers back in like 2012, 2013, daily sub burn uh, is a thing that happens. And losing subscribers every single day is just a thing that happens on my channel. And it has been happening for the last two years. I remember two years ago, I hit 400,000 subscribers and I was like, fuck yes guys, 400K celebrations. And then it quickly dipped under 400K and then was around there for a while. And then we dropped down to 38,000 and you know, it's just been a roller coaster of kind of just trying to keep it going and trying to do what I can to keep it afloat. Anyway, in the past month, we've actually been gaining enough subscribers to beat the subscriber burn. So the numbers are going up. When I go to my social blade, there's green numbers there instead of red numbers every day. And I cannot tell you the positive effect and just the, I don't know, just the good feeling that is after so long of just watching it go down and being like, I can't really do much about this to now like feel like I've got more control over the situation and I'm putting in more effort. And to actually see the numbers go up is fantastic. So I really thank everyone who's subscribed recently and everyone who's stuck around and not unsubscribed. It's been, it's been a wild couple of years, I've got to say. Uh, but we're here, you know? I'm here and I'm alive and we're doing it. And uh, it's absolutely fine. And you can actually see the sun rising up here as well, which is very nice. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying the recent content. I've got to say I'm a little bit confused about what to do with content at the moment. Um, I'm enjoying the Player Unknown's Battleground videos. Uh, they're not doing so great on the channel, but I'm, I'm really enjoying them and I think I'm actually getting better at them. I'm gonna make one of them tomorrow and I swear to fuck, Okay, I'm not gonna swear. I did swear, but I'm I'm gonna try to get a win. Look, I should be able to do it, okay? I had two consecutive wins earlier, nine kills and six kills. I can do it, all right? So I wanna get a win on that. Uh, Tarkov's going fine, Dead by Daylight's going good. Uh, you guys seem to like the Friday the 13th videos, so I'm gonna keep on with them, but I'm really desperately looking for suggestions of things that I can do, things that I can cover that I can do additionally. Like I would love to start a series on something that I can actually carry on for ages and I've not seen something that's pop up that I've thought of that, that I can do with that. Like um, I'm considering doing some more Daisy videos. I know it's been a long ass time and I did make one on April Fool's Day, which was meant to be like an April Fool's joke to say, hey guys, I'm doing Daisy again, when really the state of Daisy is not, it's not great. And I'm looking for a game that I can kind of delve into like Daisy and make long episode adventures. Like some of my greatest videos, in my opinion, on this channel are the old Daisy videos that I made on the Daisy mod, you know, back in 2012. Um, really fun adventures that I go and record for eight hours. And then you know what? I can actually make like 10 videos out of it instead of where I played Daisy last year and I go and record for five hours. And what do I get? Well, I get to trim it down to like a 25 minute video of things happening. Uh, out of that entire session, and that is upsetting. I mean, the stories, the recent, most recent Daisy videos on the channel, I feel, if you've not seen them, I feel they're fucking awesome. Like, I go and watch them sometimes, and I'm like, holy shit, I'm super proud of this. I've made, like, a little movie here. But, uh, it is a bit sad to have to condense the footage down so much. So I'm looking for something that's similar to that, that I can do stuff like that on, and uh, some of the options for that are Armor 3, which uh, has some mods that you can do such things on, like Exile and Desolation used to be an amazing mod that you could do shit like that on. And I'm thinking of doing Rust this week, just trying one week of Rust, because Rust wipes every single week. So to try and do an entire week of Rust and record as much as I can, it could be a really fucking sick, fun adventure that I can edit down, put some music on and really have like a nice atmospheric feel to it and feel like I'm making something that I'm proud of. So those are things there, but if anyone's got some suggestions that they would like to see, I mean, just fucking chuck them in the comment section. I would love to hear them. Uh, one thing I'm also considering is Sims 4. Now, I had a Sims 3 series many years ago. Many, many years ago. I can't even remember when. Probably 2011? Yeah, it must have been 2011. And I loved it. I fucking loved it. It was so fun. Uh, it was so weird, and everyone seemed to really enjoy it. And then, you know, I kind of just finished with that after a long time of doing that. And I was waiting for Sims 4 and I was like, yes, Sims 4 is coming out. 
and you've probably heard me say this before, but I was waiting for the Pets expansion to come out, and EA Games, if you're listening to this, I know you're not, so fuck you EA, uh, fuck you for not making the Pets expansion for The Sims 4 yet. Why, why couldn't you do it? Just copy-paste it from The Sims 3. How hard can it be? My god, I was really waiting for that to come so I could do it and I could have a family and they could have a bunch of dogs and a cat and a horse. I hated the horse, but a horse and, you know, it'd be really fun. Anyway, we didn't get a pet's expansion yet, so uh, I've been holding off on that. But you know what, it's getting to the point now where I'm saying, ah, fuck it, let's just do it. So I'm con uh, contemplating doing The Sims 4 and trying to have fun with that. I think I could do a good job with it. Uh, we'll have to see how that actually goes. But uh, if you've got any suggestions, please do leave them in the comments below. This here is pretty close to my house, so this is where I usually start the video, but I'm going to be ending it today. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I don't really know what I've said here. I've just chatted a bunch of shit while driving and smelling these delicious McDonald's fries. I will see you soon. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you later on. Have a great day. Have a great morning. Love you guys. Thank you very much for being here. Panda out. And I'm on your side